Good afternoon, everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm my name is Subiakto, and I work as lecturer in mechanical engineering. I am one of lecturers at Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science, University of Panchasakti Tegal. Today, I'm going to be talking about optimizing water pump power from reservoir to water tower. I'll begin my outlining the abstract, and then I'll go on to highlight what the topic means for you. Finally, I'll briefly discuss why we talk about optimizing water pump power from reservoir to water tower. To finish, I'll be making conclusion to think of ways you can do to optimize water pump power from reservoir to water tower. Our team is Subiakto, M. Yusuf, M. Fajar Siddiq, and Tegu Haris Santoso. Abstract. Optimizing the power of the water pump from the reservoir to the water tower is an effort to save energy used in distributing water to consumer uses. To reduce the cost of water transportation implement, various measures aims at increasing the efficiency of energy use. Installation of water treatment and water supply system, the main measures for energy saving include replacement of obsolete equipment with energy saving devices, reduction of leakage during transportation of clean water, optimization of pumping units. Pump optimization means minimizing electricity consumption by lifting water and optimizing pump operation in day zones, allowing a significantly increase energy efficiency and reduce cost of extracting and transport and transporting water to consumers. Lifting water to water tower, there is a variable height that affects the supply of electrical energy used by the water pump. The power of the water pump is directly proportional to the height of the water tower. The higher the water tower, the greater the pump power required. The study aims to determine the relationship of the pump to, this, to the discharge, pressure, and power of the pump, as well as to determine the efficiency of the pump on energy use. Introduction. A water tower is a large raised water tank that pressure pressurize water for distributing uh, I'm sorry for distribution to all homes and businesses in the tower area. They are usually located at high altitude and are large enough to hold about one day of water for the community served by the tower. The water system is designed to supply water to consumers according to the required demand. The main component of the system is the pump, which is selected according to the location and configuration of the pump station, head requirements, and intake structure. Due to the weight range of application, there are many different types of pumping, varying in shape and size. 
from high pressure to low pressure and from high volume to low volume. The development of a water supply system can maintain the pressure level set in the supply network within a certain limit. Water towers can supply water to consumers, increasing the time of uninterrupted water supply in the event of plumbing repairs. The method of increasing the energy efficiency of transporting clean water with the help of a water tower can eliminate excessive water pressure during use. The pump energy consumption can be reduced by lowering the pumping flow rate. Optimizing the power of the water pump from the lower reservoir to the water tower to the upper water reservoir needs to be studied so that the cost of water consumption is not too large. The problem is that buildings, offices, activity units, canteens, household buildings have varying heights in their water supply. The power of the water pump is directly proportional to the height. The higher the water supply in a place, the more power the water pump has to provide. The purpose of this research is how to optimize the power of the water pump from the reservoir, both the bottom and the top, so that it can be distributed to consumers who use water at an optimal cost. The use of water supply from PDAM, Regional Drinking Water Company, from time to time is not stable. The running water pressure is sometimes strong and sometimes weak. When the flow of water is weak, the distribution of water supplies to consumers who use water is uneven. Some get water, some have water short, shortages. In high places, feel that there is no water. Literature studies. Pump discharge shows the capacity of the fluid that the pump can flow in one unit of time to determine the discharge, I'm sorry, to determine the discharge generated by the pump is done analytically. Measurements of discharge with the equation key, key equal to V divided T. Where key is flow rate liters per second V is volume of water liters and T is time in unit second. Head is a, a form of energy expressed in units of length. The head consists of altitude head, a speed head, and a pressure head. Pump efficiency. Pump efficiency is the ratio between the hydraulic power of the pump and the electric power. Eta is PP divided P1 times 100%. Where PP is a pump power in unit watts, P, I'm sorry, not P1, PL is electric power in unit watts. Pump efficiency depends on the pump flow rate, which is equal to the requested flow rate. And in the case of variable speed operation on the rotation speed. Water tower system, the power required to pump 
clean water to the water tower is given by the following expression. P in equal to P times Q, where E is the energy, T is time, P is the fluid pressure at the bottom of the water tower, and Q is the volumetric flow rate of the fluid into the water tower. The fluid pressure in the bottom of the tower is given by P equal to rho times G times H, where rho is the density of water, G is the gravitational constant, and H is the height of the water level in the tower. You can look at the picture, this picture. Water tower has two water levels. One, the water level HP is used to set the required water pressure, which is traditional generated by water towers. Two, the water level HS is used to store energy in the form of plums, hydroelectric energy. There are two heights can use to calculation. HS and HP. The fluid pressure at the bottom of the tower is given by P equal to rho times T in parentheses of HP plus HS. If we assume that the fluid is in, incompressible, the volumetric flow rate can be written as T is dv divided dt. Where A is the, is the, uh, the cross selection, uh, sectional area of the tower shown in figure one. Substitution of equation five and seek to equation three Yielding the following expression for the amount of hydroelectric energy stored in the tower. The integral of DE, it results E equal to Rho times G times A times in parentheses of HP times HS plus half times HS squared two. If we use the following values for the design of the water tower, rho is one thousand kilogram per meter cubic and G is 9.81 meter per second square root two. A is the cross-sectional area of the water tower. At S is the height of the water level so the, the amount of energy stored in the water tower can be obtained. Research methods. The methods used is to optimize the potential energy function of the water level in the tower tank to make it easier to describe mathematically equation seven is replaced by the symbol. Why? 
equal to d times in parenthesis of c times x plus half times x uh, square root two is d times c times x plus half times d times x square root two where d is rho times g time a and c is hp and y is e to determine the optimum point on the quadratic function we use the discriminant value d equal to b square 2 minus 4 times a times c where b is d times c a is half times d and c is zero so that d equal to in parenthesis d times c squared two so y p equal to half d times c squared two where yp is ep is the optimum value of hydroelectric energy stored in the in the tower the equation ep is half times rho times g times a times hp squared 2 Result and discussion. A is the cross sectional area of the water tower. To meter cubic. The volume of water at the tower volume is twenty thousand meter cubic. The height of the water tower HP is 15 meters. So EP is half times rho times G times A times HP square 2 is 2 million 207,000. Uh, I'm sorry, two million two two zero seven thousand two hundred and fifty joule. Pump power P equal to EP divided T is two two zero seven two five zero divided t t is time in unit second ep is the optimum value of the hydroelectric energy stored in the tower the curve pump power fast time The error of the optimum in the curve between one thousand until two thousand what? This picture about water reservoir and water tower. And A is the cross sectional area 
of the water tower is around two meter square two, and the volume of water at the tower is twenty thousand meter cubic. The height of the water tower is P. is 15 meters. Conclusion. The power factor of pump engine efficiency is the ratio between the calculated optimal pump power and the electric water pump power that must be provided. The pump power of the electric motor must be greater than the calculated optimal pump power. The relationship between pump power and flow rate is that these two quantities are directly proportional to speed. So the greater the power, the greater the speed of water flow to fill the tower tank. The water pressure and the flow rate of the water flowing down from the tower tank are both directly proportional to the volume. So the higher the tower, the greater the pressure and flow rate of the water. I use seven references. Thank you for your attention. We hope our presentation is useful for you.